महाभारत दी इंडियन एपिक टेल्स अस द स्टोरीज ऑफ मेनी ब्रेव हीरोज भीम एंड द फ्रेग्रेंट फ्लावर भीम वाज वन ऑफ द हीरोज नोन फॉर हिज ग्रेट स्ट्रेंथ ही कैरीड एन आयरन मेस व्हिच वाज सो हेवी दैट नोबडी एल्स कुड इवन लिफ्ट इट वन डे हिज वाइफ द्रौपदी सेड टू हिम लेट अस गो आउट फॉर अ पिकनिक इन द फॉरेस्ट Bhim brought a horse for Draupadi to ride. But she refused and said, "I want to walk with you all the way." Bhim and Draupadi traveled a long way. Bhim saw Draupadi's face darken in the hot sun. Bhim pulled out a huge tree and held it like an umbrella over her. Bhim and Draupadi reached the forest. Bhim said, "I can hear the sound of water. There must be a lake nearby." Please go and find out Draupadi said I want to take a dip Bhim found a small stream full of lotus flowers Draupadi happily jumped into the water While swimming, she found a very strange flower floating in the stream. It was an extremely beautiful flower of unusual fragrance. Draupadi went to Bhim and said, "This rare flower must be growing somewhere nearby. Please go and get some for me." While she waited in the grove, Bhim set out in search of the fragrant flower. Bhim walked and walked and finally reached the jungle filled with wild animals. A huge tiger pounced on Bhim. But he caught the ferocious animal by the tail and kicked it so hard that the tiger cried like an ordinary cat. Bhim came to a wide river. He saw a magnificent banana grove on the other bank. In order to cross the river, Bhim threw large boulders of rocks and made a bridge. Bhim found an old monkey sleeping on the path with his long tail blocking the way he shouted hey old monkey remove your tail from my way the old monkey slowly raised his head and said i am too old and weak to get up why don't you move the tail yourself bhim shoved the tail with the iron mace but he could not move it at all his heavy iron mace had become bent like a bow and had lost its shape the old monkey laughed and said can't you even lift my tail 
Suddenly, Bhim realized that this was no ordinary monkey. Bhim fell at the monkey's feet and said, Forgive my foolishness. You must be my elder brother, the great Hanuman. The monkey got up. He rode like thunder, grew to the size of a mountain and said, Since you and I are sons of the wind god, we are both very powerful. I am indeed very lucky to meet you. I have come here in search of a rare flower for my wife, Bhim said to his brother. Hanuman placed Bhim on his palm and lifted him high up above the clouds. He saw a lake surrounded by tall mountains, filled with the fragrant flowers he was searching for. Bhim picked many flowers for his dear wife. Draupadi was thrilled to get so many flowers. But suddenly, she noticed Bhim's shapeless iron mace. Oh my God, what happened to your heavy mace? Bhim laughed and said, Nothing, I just tried to lift the tail of my brother, the great Hanuman, and he threw the mace away. The iron mace which Bhim threw away is still lying there. No one has been born to remove it from there. <laughs> <laughs>